Yeah, it's your boy Grove here, back with another video, and today, I got special video guys, man, today we're back with a tournament of power season, 84 best teams, you guys know, um, tournament reset, TOP reset, and, you know, we gotta get those 1.5k CC, so, um, every season they always change up the, you know, the tiers and everything, so I'm gonna try to show you guys some of the good teams and everything for this season and if you guys have some teams that you always have hit z z league and i haven't referenced that team at all please comment down below like the team you use and let me know what units you use and you know why you think they're super good and then i'm gonna try to start um implementing those into the the video so there was one comment about freezer force i'm gonna mention that freezer force team so shout out to chris chris strategy for for the for the freezer force type of setup i'm gonna kind of tweak it up a little bit but let's get straight into it so try to 14 star your characters zenkai to Z seven um arts boost anything that helps with stats getting the top equipment helps with base health all of that just for survivability every stat counts and it can literally make or break your team so try to get a minimum stars of a nine star character if possible and let's get straight into it so First team you're gonna do is regen. Regen is just you know that's the team that I rock. It's, it's, it's not gonna it's not gonna change if it ain't broke. Don't fix it. So let's get in with regen. So lucky enough for regen, we have three S tier characters. So um, you know the Namekians are kind of honing it down this season. I'm gonna show you guys some some uh, I don't know switch here. Some different um, replacements if you guys don't have them if you don't have these characters. So. Uh, to start out with, we have yellow EX Piccolo. Um, a lot of you guys have them. If you guys don't use them, you guys can use the different yellow. Me personally, I like using them. Lots of healing on the team. Um, next after that, bro, we got red Piccolo Jr. I call him PJ. If you want to replace him, we got two uh, two really good reds that I recommend. is definitely Zenkai Metal Cooler and then Zenkai Transforming Cell. But I don't know a lot of you guys have him. So if you guys do have the Zenkai Cooler, I recommend him over the cell. Because I know a lot of you guys probably not have to have a lot of copies he's, a, he's not really in a lot of banners so uh, i'll probably say those two as the top reds because they're both in s tier i have omega shimron here if you guys don't have him blue slug is s tier so if you guys want to kind of replace him you guys can use him as the blue um, in terms of green dkp he's a free to play character i kind of hope you guys have him um he's free and you can get his z power as well off of an event but if you guys don't have him i'm gonna show you guys some other characters Super Baby 2 and Fat Boo, they're irreplaceable in my opinion. Uh, there's no replacing them, especially Super Baby 2. He's like the most valuable character on this team. Uh, Fat Boo as well, he's second in my opinion. So you need to have them. Try to get them to Zenkai 7 as possible. Let's go to A tier. Now in terms of the yellow, if you guys don't have this Piccolo, there's multiple good yellows for region. Uh, you got this this free-to-play first form cell, the, the Sparky one. Then you got the EX first form cell. He's actually really good. Zenkai DKP is really good. They all have w ways of healing, which is really nice. Uh, if you guys don't have green DKP, the free-to-play one, I recommend green first form cell. He's actually pretty good. And I like the green metal cooler. Uh, but I like him a little bit more. He gives debuffs. He doesn't buff the team with his Z ability, but I like him a little bit more. I've, I've actually used this guy before. Um, in terms of the blue, other than that, a lot of people are saying EX Evil Boo has been pretty good. I don't really know. I have never, never used him before, so I can't really recommend how good he is but a lot of people have said they've been using ex evil boo so if you guys don't have lord slug up you guys can use the zenkai 7 evil boo as well um, in terms of what other colors i'm missing purple purple is kind of region's worst color so if you guys don't have free to play super boo uh, purple 21 i recommend base health to transform a character high stats and if you guys don't have her then purple um, red ribbon army piccolo is really good as well. He heals and gives support to his to his team. So the fact that he's on the the B tier is actually really insane. So if you guys don't have her, then him he's another free to play character. What other colors I'm missing? Blue. You can also use blue tanks here. He he's a really high damage dealing character. So I do recommend him. He's actually really solid as well. In terms of the yellow, I already recommend Zenkai Yellow Cell. I like having LF Piccolo here. He's a blast based character, high stats, transforming. He gets his blue card really fast, so I like having him on standby. We face a lot of strong purples because yellow EX Piccolo is not going to hold it down for us. So I like having that set up here. Any other colors? I think I kind of named them all. Um, in terms of other reds, like Zenkai Omega is pretty solid. 
Uh, this Boo Boo Buhan um, is really good. He has high key recovery, so usually always attacks first. Red twenty one is also pretty decent as well. Any other colors? Yellow has a lot of good yellows. Purples, these two. I already mentioned some blues. Don't want to go into too much of the C tier characters because we already have two C tier characters here. Um, while all these characters here are really good, but you just don't want to put too much C tier characters. So, to each their own. I kind of recommend them if you want to have like CMZ, for example, or Kid Boo. These these characters are all really good. It's just I just don't want to have too much C tier characters. I already have two, so I'm not going to add a third one. Um, next after that, let's hop into another team. Another team I want to talk about. I always look at the the, the tiers and the S tier to kind of pinpoint what teams that I kind of am feeling for this uh, for this season. Any sleepers here? So. If I was to pick, I mean, Dragon Ball Saga is going to be pretty solid as well. I mean, they, they basically have two characters that I'm using on region for that team. So if you guys want to use Dragon Ball Saga, that's pretty solid here. I know a lot of you guys don't have all the DB Saga characters. But the fact that they have, um, if you guys do have the World Tournament Goku, I mean, the fact that these three are S tier characters, that's already good enough there for the team. And then after that, you can kind of just build them up. So let me actually go here real quick. I think my what's the name is playing is whatever all right so next after that let's go to db saga let's actually mute this up db so already got the s tier characters here we don't really need to add nobody here dkp and boom we don't really need the z tier now the only issue is you just kind of just have to have the team you gotta just have all the characters for the full db saga team so if you guys don't um they don't use this team but if you guys have these characters here then you guys should be fine um, in terms of your blue you got Aider. I'll recommend him if you don't have him then blue Boma because they're kind of all blast based in a sense so she might fit the team well more than Aider. but you kind of need all the characters on the setup so I don't have the Roshi I don't have him um, if you guys do want a stronger blue you guys could just use her as your C tier character she's actually pretty good I think she gives support she does a lot of stuff for the team every every turn she gets you yeah, and at the end of turn, she restores her health, which is pretty nice. So, if you want to have her as your main CT, she's literally a free-to-play character. She just dropped this this Annie, so I hope you got her 14 stars. And then in terms of these characters, um, you also got the Zenkai Goku. So, you got some decent characters. I'll definitely add, like, Green Chi-Chi in here. Now, I would say purple is their worst color. If you don't have the World Tournament Goku, um, their, their best purple is... Who is their best purple, actually? Yeah, it's actually pretty bad. So, I only rec I recommend if, if you don't have World Tournament Goku, you could maybe pull it off. Just just know when you face a lot of greens, um, it's going to be a little bit difficult. But if you don't have the World Tournament Goku, you should be fine. I want to add in a few characters. If you do have the Yellow Roshi, I recommend having him because he gives HP and he's actually really good. Um, I also got the Zenkai Chi Chi here. Now next, I do have, I, uh, where is Red Launch? I've seen Red Launch somewhere. The only issue is, is that, uh, she is Blast based, but she only gives it to, what, DB Saga? So, only a few of these characters are going to have it. But if you want to add her as your second Red, you could just have her on standby. You could have that there. Go with more of a green, green, blue, red. So if you want to add in, like, a double red and do, like, double reds, double greens, double blues, and then have in, like, Aider. Uh, that's also a good setup, but like I said, I don't have Roshi, and I don't have the World Tournament Goku. If I have the Roshi and the World Tournament Goku, I will replace Chi-Chi and Aider and have like a full color wheel, and then you can build up your setups. But if you don't have a full DB Saga team, I wouldn't recommend this team. So only a, only a few people that mains DB Saga or has all the characters can rock the team. I don't have the Roshi or the, or the World Tournament Goku to show you the full setup. You could put DKP in there if you don't have... Hey, if you want a strong yellow, he's a Zenkai character. Kind of more of a region, this type of thing. You got a few region characters there. And then, I don't know how I feel about the world, the the, the Zenkai free-to-play Goku. He's not bad. You know, he does strike damage, but I do recommend the, the Roshi for sure. We can go to C tier, but they only have the, the Boma here. So, um, depending on what colors you have, and if you do have the World Tournament or PJ, if you don't have them, then I wouldn't recommend the DB Saga team. Um, try a different team. So next, we're going to try Freezer Force. I actually got someone that's actually been rocking Freezer Force and been rocking, you know, Z tier for them for a very long time. Um, 
But now you also going to need is Jason Berter tag, and then you're going to need the Gordo and Raccoon tag for this team to rock. So I don't know what tier they are in, but I'm looking at his setup that he commented on my video. So I'm going to show you guys basically what he said that he rocks. I might tweak it up a little bit since he has no C tier characters. So I might add in one C tier character for the setup. So Free the Force, the character that he used is, um, first he used the purple um, Ginyu. Now the reason why he used purple Ginyu is I believe at the end of every turn, he has to give support to like Free the Force and everything as well. And I think he actually heals himself too. He heals himself at the start of each turn. And then if you pair him up with Dragon Ball Sagas and I mean, Ginyu Force and Freezer Force, more damage than Q Recovery. That's actually a really solid Freezer Force character. Next after that, he uses um, Naval. Naval actually gives support to the team and heals twice so that, like for everyone on the team. So that's actually a really solid green character. Um, next after that, who he recommends. So pretend this is the tag Gudo Raccoon. He will have him as the Gudo Raccoon. This Gudo here will be the tag Gudo Raccoon. And then here, this will be like the tag Jace and Birder for his setup. If you do have those two characters, I don't have them, so I can't add him on a team but this is his setup next after that he actually adds a uh, blue revival Frieza now blue revival Frieza actually gives I believe support and healing on the team as well so he's another character that heals the team I believe it's this one here yeah so on the left side he gives a little bit of damage and key recovery and then he restores health by two so another healer that's also a really solid character I'll probably like add him in the middle you kind of want him in the middle that would actually be really uh, the, the best spot for him so he can heal everybody I mean regardless even here I mean, regardless of what spot he is he's going to heal somebody because just the way his, his thing is um, then after that C tier no B tier he actually has the free to play for uh, sparking final freezer you guys see here he actually restores at the end of each turn he heals his freezer force or event exclusive characters by one PO twice Gives damage afflicted buff, so that's actually really nice. A lot of uh, support damage from all across the team. So this guy has a really nice setup, Freezer Force setup. So I'll add him in there. And then after that, he added, who else did he add it? He added EX Purple, a pool, and then EX Zarbon. Now for EX Zarbon, if you do want to just have a carry unit, because you have some decent S tier characters. I don't like this. I don't know what Raccoon and Gudo tag or Jason Burder tag. I don't know what tier they're in right now. But if you even exclude them out, they have two S tier characters here, so that's nice. And then he also adds in the free to play of pool. So you have three S tier characters. And then as your main C tier character, if you want a character to carry you, I'll recommend uh, Golden, no, not Golden Freezer, but Tag, Go Freezer. Just a character that can carry you in terms of the damage. So I will definitely recommend to have a, if you, you can add one C tier character. So this is a nice setup. But you're going to need the, the, the tag Raccoon Gudo and then the tag Jason Birder. And then other than that, like these two, the, lots of support, lots of healing. All f these four characters, I believe, heal. I believe the Go Freezer probably heals too. Yep, after every strike, he heals. And then I'm assuming Gudo Raccoon heals as well. So lots of healing, lots of support. So this is actually a nice Freezer Force team. And like I said, if you guys have some teams that I'm not really talking about, comment down below because this is actually pretty free in a sense a lot of free to play characters a lot of ex characters that's pretty solid and free to play sparking so shout out to him shout out to the person that recommended me this team and this is kind of like his setup here you can kind of tweak it and, and whatever they have a lot of s tiers maybe you can add in like this mecha freezer because he's relatively new red or uh, red rober is not bad as well because he heals at the end of each turn at start of each turn he heals by three percent so that's actually pretty nutty as well so those are some sleeper characters any characters that kind of like pinpoint me blowing the chila is actually solid as well so you also have some decent decent options as well in terms of the colors red if you want to record if you want to probably replace jason gudo i mean raccoon jason bird of my goodness raspberry he's a blast based red so you can kind of rock him if you're talking about the green character though for Gudo, maybe the Zenkai, the Zenkai Golden Freezer, he just did get a Zenkai high damage dealer. He's not really a tank, but he's more of an offensive Zenkai character, so you can't go wrong with him. But other than that, I'll probably say those are probably some good replacements there. All these characters are a lot are free and free to play characters, free to play EX or free to play Sparking. So nice setup there, nice setup. Shout out to him. 
Next after that, I think I have one more team here. I could do movies. I was thinking movies as the last one, but I might go with GT. Uh, GT got some some characters, especially with the Zenkai Shin. Zenkai Shin probably helps because they do have. Hold on, let me actually go to S tier. Yeah, they have they have these two. They have three S tier characters that I don't mind using. Z tier, they kind of don't have no one that kind of sparks my interest. So let's go with the Z tier, uh, the S tier. If I was to use two S tier characters, Zenkai Shin. I think he's pretty solid. Excuse me. And if you want someone else that's pretty okay, it's either going to be the Red Oob or the Green Baby as my two S tier characters. Then A tier, I like having Shin. If you guys main GT, you guys are going to have him in high stars. Uh, the C tier, I like adding in um, Super Baby 2, just the amount of healing he gives. And depending on who you have, I recommend out of Tag 4s or the Purple. Um, Bola and Vegeta because the support and healing they give for the for the whole setup is insane. But if I want a main carry green unit, I'll probably add in the tag force because green baby is not going to carry you. So I'll definitely add them in as well. Next after that, let's go to A tier. You do have a yellow, right? We have two blues, we have two greens, so we kind of need we need a purple and a red at least. So let's go to the B tier. Uh, I don't want to have too many, I don't want to have three C tier characters. So if I'm using these the tag fours and, and uh, baby the the purple I'm going to use is either going to be the 17 or the Goku the Goku he heals himself the Zenkai character um, this better survivability but if you want to go more of the blast base I think this this team has a little bit more blast you can go with 17 as well so either one of these is fine I'll just go with him just because he heals and survivability in terms of the red I do like Omega as my red I just I feel like he has he's a Zenkai character. He got some high stats and everything, so I'll add him as my red. And then as the last color, maybe I'll add in. You can add in him here. Yeah, two C tier characters around here. And then your last character, who would I focus more on? Purple, green, blue, and then I guess you kind of just add the best available. Yellow seventeen isn't bad. Red. Yeah, you already got green. You already got blue. So if you want to focus more on... I mean, the last character is actually really... I can just add whoever, for real. Yellow 17, if you want an extra yellow. Ah, uh, yeah, him. And if you go to the beads here, either... If you want to add in another purple, you can add him. If you want to add in another blue, you could add this Goku, but like I said, you already have two blues here, so you don't really need to add him. You already have two greens, you don't want to add another one, so it really comes down to you just want another yellow, another purple, or another red. If I also go with another red, he's more blast based. I actually like him a little bit more, so I actually use him as a double red. Double yellow, I like the free to play 17. And then a double purple add him just because you don't want to have three C tier characters, in my opinion. So I'll, I'll rock this setup here. So that's kind of it with GT. But like, I, but this is if you don't have this guy at high stars. If you have him at high stars, you can add him in instead of the the green baby, right? So depending on that, these are the two C tiers. I mean the two S tier characters. Definitely Zenkai Shin. He's just got a Zenkai, so I think he's gonna be pretty good. So if you don't have him at high stars, then the green baby. And that's pretty much it there. That's pretty much it. Me, I'll probably go with the the yellow. Just cause just in case if you're trying to rock baby a lot, you might want to have some good yellows, maybe two yellows on the setup a little bit. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Any other teams that, that kind of catches my eye? If you have any other teams that's that's been really good, comment down below. But those are the ones I kind of pointed out. I could do a movies team. I could do a movies team. Yeah, I could I could do a movies team for sure. Yeah, I could definitely do a movies team. But you have to red you have to use like red cooler and purple turlist as your main. Let's actually do movies. Fuck it. Let's do movies.
let's do one more team. 20 minutes, let's, let's wrap this video. Okay, let's go here, let's here. As you, oops. I like these two characters as your main S tier characters. Now, if you guys do have this Turles at high stars, he's actually really good in my opinion. Really solid, but star dependent. Goku is also the kind of similar as well, star dependent. Um, if you guys don't have these guys at Zenkai 7, I think those are some other good S tier movie saga characters. Here, who I like to add. That kind of depends on what do I, do I want this team more blast based or strike based? As my blue, as my C tier, actually for my C tier characters, yellow go tanks ain't bad. It kind of depends on who you want. But let's focus on let's focus on the A's. I do like adding Cryon. I like Revival Go On on this setup. As your red, you could add in two C tier characters. So, I'm going to add Pan for now. For now, I'm going to add Pan. Me personally, I really do like Gamma 2 a lot. I like the way, I just like, I like him as a, as a character a lot. In terms of your green, see the green is an issue. That's why I don't, I don't like using Pan. Because I, I really want to a strike based green character instead of her because we already have a solid I like adding Dragon Fist Dragon Fist as my green yellow tapion now we just need a better yellow we already got two C tier characters already yeah. Yeah, we really got we got red, blue, yellow, green. So we really got we really got them. Green Trunks is okay as a strike base. If you just want to do damage wise. Healing, 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 healing. So you have lots of healing and then your last character. I will want a better yellow character. Fat Go Things isn't bad either. Probably replace him, add him. Magenta's okay. Yeah, that green. I kind of just look for that last green. Long video, my bad, guys. Green metal cooler is okay. Just because he's strike base. Magenta is okay. You might have to add in two C tier characters. Just have them on the background. Just so maybe a stronger green. That's probably what I'll do. Probably add in like this. So you have one C tier. You have two S. You have a A tier character. And you have two Bs. And independent if you have a stronger purple or stronger green, some setup like this, more the strike based side. I would say he's the only blast based character, but he's just the S tier character. So um it's probably be like more of a movie setup. I still trying to work on my movie setup teams. If you guys made movies, let me know how this setup looks. Um you could definitely add in blue Goku. Just cause I think he's HP he's has a decent stats. Red cool is also not. I mean, red turtle is also not bad as well. So that's probably the setups there. I'm gonna go back with my region setups. Um, 
I'm definitely going to take a look at more teams like that Frieza Force team, for example. And comment down below what teams you guys are rocking. I don't recommend. And leave it down in the comment section for sure. Willing to learn. Willing to add more teams onto this video. So, hope you guys enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. And Rough Man, and I'm out.